Hey guys, I hope that y'all are having a really great day. As you can see, I kept it pretty small this week. We honestly didn't need a lot of things. We went down to see my mom for a couple days. Um, so we were there eating her food. <laughs> and so we still have quite a few things in the refrigerator and the freezer. And then plus she sent us um, back with peach cups and applesauce cups for the kids to enjoy. Um, I did plan on getting some strawberries from Publix because they are on BOGO this week. Well, the organic ones are. But they were really small and they just didn't look that great. I really wanted some tomatoes, but I just can't bring myself to buy the tomatoes from the store this week because I know that there are fresh tomatoes growing around me. So I have a few cu um, cucumbers available in my garden that I'm gonna pick tomorrow and I'm gonna sit out to see if I can find a neighbor to trade with. <laughs> I really want a tomato sandwich. <laughs> And if I can't find any here, I think I'm going to have to go to the farmer's market. But anyways, this week I went to Walmart, Publix, and to Harris Teeter. And just kind of picked up a little bit at each place. So let's start with Walmart first. So these Ibotta rebates popped up this morning for the Bobos. So the bars, I got chocolate chip and lemon poppy seed. I don't think I've ever had the lemon poppy seed one before, um, but these are regular price $7.82, and there is an offer on Ibotta for buy one, get one, well, it's supposed to be buy one, get one free, but I think you get back $7.76, um, but still really good because these are like, I think $2 when they're on sale at um, Walgreens and I don't know how much they are at Publix, but I've seen them at Walgreens for like $2 for each individual bar. So it's pretty good. I'm excited to try that lemon poppy seed. Then I also got the um, apple pie, the stuffed oat bites. And these are regular price $3.86. And then there's a bogo offer for these as well. And so it makes two boxes $3.86, which is great. And we got the strawberry one. And there's an offer where you can get a free mint if you send them, um, I think you have to send them five maybe. I've done it once before, but I think you have to send them five mints. So I'm almost there for another one. And there's also one for like their little Pop-Tart things, but it's only at Target. So I don't know if I'll be going to Target this week or not, but it's a really great deal. But anyways. The Evolve Shakes, I was so happy that my neighborhood Walmart had these. I've seen these for a while at Harris Teeter, but they're like never on sale. And if they are, they're like three, I think the cheapest I've seen them is $3.99 a bottle or something, ridiculous. But anyways, these were $2.78. I had an offer on Fetch to get back $2 and then an offer on Ibotta to get back a dollar. I think the Fetch limit was four and the bottom limit was five, so that's why I got four. But it made each one of them free plus the 22 cent money maker, which is really, really great. I needed some more coconut milk, so I got two of those. The Hillman's was $4.98. I had a dollar coupon that Hillman's had um, emailed me. And then I had a dollar back on Ibotta. I had a dollar back on Fetch, and then I had an offer for $2.50 back if it was my second time purchasing it at Walmart and it was, and so I also got that back. So it made it free and like a 50 some cent money maker. Um, I just picked up some more crushed tomatoes because I was out of those. I was out of white vinegar, so I got that. And then I got some um, small shell pasta and I actually used that tonight for dinner. So that box is empty. Now I redeemed, <laughs> A gift card on Shopkick and at my neighborhood Walmart you can't scan a gift card so I had to add it to my Walmart account but I forgot that it wouldn't print off a receipt so I had to come home and print this off with my computer because of course I needed it for um, Fetch so thank God that went through without any trouble but here is everything it was 5231 um, I got back $11.66 from Fetch, 
that was for the Evolve and for the Mayo. And then I got back $16.62 from Ifada. Yep, so in total I got back $28.28. And so it makes all of these items $24.03. So, um, then at Publix, this week on the flyer, it was available in um, store, but the on the back of the flyer is the gas card promotion where if you buy a $50 gas card, you save $10 on your groceries. And so I was super excited about that. So the Kite Hill yogurts are on sale for um, BOGO, so it made them $2.50. And then I had a rebate to get back a dollar, so it made each one just a dollar and fifty cents. So I maxed that deal out and got five. Now, when I submitted my receipt, it caught it and it showed five, but then after it actually processed, it only showed four. So I did submit a ticket to Ibotta, and I know that they'll take care of that. The Earth Balance butters on sale, BOGO. I wanted the six, but my store was already out, so I just got two of the tubs. But it was two, four, five, something, I think. Maybe. Yep, two for five fifty-nine. Um, the nut milk is on sale this week for BOGO, so it makes it like two dollars. I bought a head, um, a rebate for a dollar back. The max was five, but I only had room <laughs> in my fridge for three, so I got that. So they were a dollar a piece. Um, this got you hot sauce was regular price at $4.69, I think. And I had a dollar coupon from the extra savings flyer. And then um, a dollar back, oh wait, I think it was a dollar 50 on fetch or either a dollar 25 and then a dollar 50 or a dollar 25 on, I thought I can't remember um, one of that. So <laughs> it made it like 94 cent for that. The rise, Coffee was $1.50. I had a dollar back on my bottle, so it made it just 50 cent. I don't know if I've tried this before, so I'm excited about that. The Ben and Jerry's ice cream was on sale this week for BOGO. So excited for that. It was $5.89 for both of them, and I had a dollar off of two coupons, so it made it just $4.89 um, for two. The Tasty Bite, so I was really excited about this. This was a coupon in the extra savings flyer where you could buy any one Tasty Bite and get one free. So I got the um, Bombay potatoes and it was $3.39 um, each. And so I used that coupon and so it made it two for $3.39. And I wanted to do the deal again because guys, these are so perfect for whenever you're traveling. If you're staying in a hotel, just to be able to pop it in a microwave um, really quickly. Like you could get one of these and rice and you have a meal for $3.39. Um, but on the fine print, it said one per customer per day. So I didn't try to get um, another one, but that's a really, really great deal. Um, the Back to Nature crackers, those are regular price $3.69. And Swagbucks is giving back $2 now, so it made it just $1.69. I got a little bunch of bananas back there. Um, and I want to say they were like, yeah, they were $0.95. Cent. The um, dumplings are on sale this week, three for 10. So we got one of the barbecue. Starling likes this one. I think Carter said that he liked it too, but he likes the other ones better. And then, uh oh, we got two of the Thai basil um, vegetable dumplings. And me and Carter both like those. Alexandra, she doesn't like them. And I think Starling doesn't like them either. But yeah. That was all of these goodies, so I'll show you this receipt. There's my gift card. So it was $93.38 um, with that gift card. And so minus the gift card, it would be $43.38. So I got back $10.35 from my bottle. Um, I also had a 10 cent any yogurt um, that was for those yogurts too. And then a dollar and fifty-five cent from Fetch, and then two dollars and two cent from Swagbucks. So in total, I got back thirteen ninety-two. So it makes all of these items twenty-nine forty-six. And then lastly, here's Teeter. Um, had the Nature's Uncrafted Bread on sale for Bogo. So I picked up two of these, and I'm planning to do French bread, not French bread. 
toast with these, um, or at least with one of them. And I'll probably put the other one in the freezer. <coughs> Excuse me. This was the first time I had seen this instant sourdough bread. Of course, I won't be making it now, but I've never made um, sourdough before. So I thought this would be a nice way to do it. But this was on, I can't remember if it was on closeout or if it was just regular price like BOGO, but it was 75 cents. Then they had the Fisher nuts. A lot of them were like on closeout or on, maybe they were just on sale BOGO. I can't remember. But I got the macadamia nuts. I looked at a really small jar because I had wanted some um, white chocolate chip and macadamia nut cookies, but not for now. Um, but they were like so expensive. So these I think were $3.89 for two of them. So I got those and then I got some chopped hazelnuts as well. My sister had given me some of these like last year and they were so good. And so I decided to pick up two of those two since they were on clearance. The um, Catalina dressing is on sale BOGO this week and I had a $1.50 um, digital, but Nora really likes that. So I got two of those for him. And then these Karma Toasted um, Coconut Cashews, they are so good. And these were on BOGO for $7.99. So $7.99 for two, but they're really, really good. Carter and I have actually already started <laughs> on that one um, there. So let me share my receipt for this one. So it's 2271. Um, and I didn't, other than that digital, I didn't have any other coupons um, for here cedar. So everything here was a grand total. Oh, mine's that huge Walmart receipt. <laughs> was a grand total of $76.20. So a much lighter um, week, but I just don't like to buy a whole bunch of stuff and just have it um, in my way if I don't really need it. Right now, I like to work through it. So that's what I'm gonna do this week is work through some of the things I have and then pick back up next week with the exception of those tomatoes because I'm going to find some of those. <laughs> but anyways, guys, thank y'all so much for watching. I hope that y'all have a really great day and I will see you guys soon. Bye.